Warning, this video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. Hey, what's up, Yang Gang Energy here. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing everything that has been going on with Warzone Mobile recently and some concerns I have about them being missing for the last couple of days. So to start things off, in case you haven't been keeping up with the latest news, Microsoft, which are the owners of Activision, went ahead and laid off over 600 employees about a week ago. This decision, however, has affected Warzone Mobile drastically because we haven't seen or heard much from them since. To put things into perspective, the Season 6 update just dropped a few days ago and they haven't released a single post regarding the new update on social media not a single promotion or patch notes absolutely nothing for instance the last post on their twitter was a promotion on the gilded devil keep which dropped from last season and to make things even worse they went completely dormant on their discord server speaking of keeps they haven't released any new ones this season and all the weekly events are recycled events from previous seasons now with all this information it's safe to say that something is definitely going on but does this mean it's the end of warzone mobile though it's under understandable for one to assume that the game will sunset soon due to these circumstances i personally think this isn't the end now obviously i don't know what's going on behind the scenes so i could be completely wrong about this but here's my theory so we all know warzone mobile took a big hit with all the workers being laid off i think the social media team were directly affected by this which could explain why they've been so silent this season on all platforms now season 6 was supposed to be quote unquote a big update but let's be honest there. The real big update is a season 1 update that is expected to drop alongside the BO6 integration. This update will be a complete overall on the newly upgraded engine and will feature the new omni movement mechanics, weapons, progressions and a lot more. With all that being said I feel like they're dedicating all their energy, time and resources into the season 1 update. Now even though for me the season 6 update has been a fantastic update and a step in the right direction, there are some players who are still having issues such as constant frame drops, overheating and etc. I'm also seeing a lot of reports from players being stuck on the fetching online profile screen and as a result are unable to play the game. These are a few issues that needs immediate attention and I hope they look into it as soon as possible despite being MIA. In conclusion, I think the season 1 update is their last chance to redeem themselves. There's a lot of fans hoping they will prevail and simultaneously a a lot of haters hoping they will fail. The ball is in their court. I still am very optimistic about the future of this game and I know that if they ever manage to pull this off then this will be the best and most revolutionary shooter game ever on mobile. But that's it for today. This is just my overall opinion on the matter so be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like and if you're new subscribe for more Warzone mobile content. Without further ado let's hop right into the gameplay. Oh my gosh, bro. Stop it, man. Stop it. Stop it. Just closing in. Huh? What's that? Alright, I'm not gonna finish you, bro. Go crazy! Go stupid! Go crazy! Go stupid! Go crazy! Oh my god, freaking gas mask animation almost messed me up. Oh my gosh, shot this gun beams, bro. Oh, let me go revive teammates before it's too late. Frag out! Copy that, UAV online and opening the air. Got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Ah, 
Nice, two of them, bro. Let's go, GG's! <laughs>